hello friends it's me Riz finally back with a video um I do apologize for my absence I really just hadn't been feeling filming um or uploading so I didn't I took the cham to get my mind and everything right and now I'm back again with videos I'm sorry about the lighting in the background I'm trying to was trying to use my little LED light as like a little ambiance thing but it's kind of like <laughs> slanted if you can see so but whatever um I got my LED light on top of my camera so I'm still lighted good so this video um is going to be about the skincare products that I currently use and that I'm currently loving um so yeah, I took my braids out. I don't even know if I filmed the video. I did, I did film the video with my braids in. But I took them out, um, washed my hair. This is just a, like a little Bantu knot um, type of situation. Um, yeah. Um, I applied, where is, I even have all this stuff. So yeah, I, not, I put the knots in with the, some castor oil. And then this morning when I took them out, um, I took them out at work um, before the store opened and I used a grapeseed serum. I thought I had one at home, but I don't because I tried to look before this video. Um, but I'll link it down below because I'm mentioning it. it so I actually used that to um, take the knots out and then, you know, like, kind of twist them so that they look kind of full. Because I got compliments on my hair today. Um, people said it looked healthy. So I just wanted to share what I did with my hair. Um, and you know, before I knotted it up, when I was detangling it, I applied this Mio um, Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil to my scalp and some castor oil, of course, um, on each section after I detangled it. And then, sorry if you hear like my cat's in the litter box. And, um, after I took the knots out this morning, um, I used this. Um, this is a line by The Body Shop. It's the Moringa Hair Mist. It's for dull hair, um, for shine and protection, um, pollution protection especially. It's enriched with vegan silk proteins to help repair hair from the inside out. So I use that to give my hair some shine. All right, so enough about the hair. Now we can get into the skincare products. So skincare, um, I'm gonna, go in the order that I would typically use them um and also as a disclaimer quite a few of the products are from the body shop um that is because I work there number one and two because um I get access to the products obviously by working there some items were gratis some items were purchased so I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there um I try the products and then some of them I purchase so these are my experiences with the products um, they're my opinions about the products because I like to try new stuff so that I can give a better like experience story to the customer when they ask about the products. So just putting that out there. And these, like I said, these are my opinions. Um, they're not influenced at all by the company. These are just from me using them over time. All right. So first, um, cleansing sometimes is two steps for me. Um, it's called double cleansing because it depends on whether I'm wearing makeup or not. Um, so days like today, I'm wearing a little bit, like I did my eyebrows a little bit, um, just like a little bit on the lid, a little bit of like a, I think I used the highlighter palette, just to put like a little color on my lid and some mascara and a little bit of concealer just because we had a store visit today and I wanted to look a little bit more put together, but you know, I'm not really a person to put on a lot of makeup anyway. But typically, um, to take off my makeup, I'm using this Body Shop cleansing oil. It's probably not gonna focus, but this is what I'm using. Make it focus. Okay. So this is what I use to take off my makeup. I usually do about two pumps of this, and then I rub it all on my face, kind of focus it on my eyes, because that's usually where more makeup is. And then I rinse my face um, with water, and to rinse off the residue from me rinsing, because the oil turns into like a milky texture um, when you wet it. So to wipe off the residue, um, you could use makeup remover wipes. Um, I currently didn't have any, or I just use these um, Nature's Promise baby wipes, the free from ones, which don't have any dye, um, no perfume or anything like that. 
Um, so these are the baby ones. Uh, they're hyperallergenic. They're made from plant-based fibers, and they're dermatologists uh, and pediatrician recommended because they're baby wipes. But I use that to get off the residue from my face. And then once the residue is in, oh, I forgot my mess of water. Um, I'll just insert the picture um, before I list it. It's the Garnier Fructis Micellar Water, the one, uh, the waterproof one, because it has oil to take off um, waterproof stuff. And I typically will put like a quarter, a nickel to a quarter size amount on a cotton round. And these are the 100% cotton rounds from the body shop. So I'll use one of those to, uh, you know, I apply the micellar water and then I hold it to my eye to kind of let it soften up usually like eyeliner and mascara usually take an extra step to get off so i will hold it there and then kind of rub up gently or you know even using the baby wipe would do that too just to kind of get the extra off and then once that's done then i go in with my cleanser the cleanser that i'm currently using is the lemon one by the body shop um i love it because it is intensely cleansing but it doesn't strip away everything and it's also soft on the skin because it's enriched with aloe vera in addition to the lemon and the scent is really good um it's perfect in the morning to help wake me up so i love that <laughs> and yeah so i really like that it's, it's a gel wash so you know it's nice and soft the top okay then toning would be the next step um i don't tone every day it just depends on what my face needs for the day um i usually tone like every other day or every other night um but the one that i'm currently using is the chinese ginseng and rice one this is a clarifying milky toner it's good for brightening evening and revitalizing the skin and you would shake this up and again you apply this with a cotton round so i would use the like a nickel to a quarter size amount and just swipe that all over my face because that's removing any traces of cleanser and it's also you know resetting the ph of my face um, prepping it for my hydration process so the next product would be the first step in the hydration process and i would use what we call a essence lotion so this one currently is the Oils of Life one, which is an oil and water by face. So this is another product you would have to shake up. Now this, I usually don't use a cotton round. I usually just put it in my hand, like about the size of, oops, about the size of a nickel and you know, kind of rub that all over my face. And this is to prep my skin for the hydration of like my serums, my creams, everything like that. So this one is enriched with seven essential oils and three precious seed oils. Um, all that's gonna help to nourish the skin. My skin is typically combination, a little bit on the dry side. It can get oily in the summer or the hotter months, but it's typically dry. So I need like products that'll really nourish my skin. So, and the oils of life is really good for that. The next step is my serums. Now I use two different serums. For two different reasons um, the first one is this different dark spot correcting serum so I only apply this to my dark spots as you can see here um, I still have some problem areas here they're lightening I will put like a picture of what my skin looked like before I started using this so I you know just pump a little bit I'm not gonna waste it and I just apply it to my dark spots and then I will typically like fan my face and just let my face dry and then I will go in with me the blah, blah, blah. drops of youth use concentrate serum um, and I do like three drops so forehead and both cheeks and then I'm gonna rub that in so that's gonna give my skin the bounce back that it needs and it's going to hydrate my skin so you know moisturize like nourish and then hydrate basically and then after the serums the next thing is moisturize. So I use the vitamin E uh, intense moisture cream. This is the one for dry skin. They provide you with 72 hours of moisture. Um, there's three different ones. There's one that is for all skin types, which is 48 hour. And then there's this one. And then there's the 
um, oil combination one, which is for people with oily combination skin. So that's more of a gel moisturizer. This is really creamy, as you can see. I've almost hit bottom on it, um, but it's really creamy. So then that's, you know, typically my skincare routine is finished. The other things that I will include, this is just, you know, on a as need basis. So like if I'm having issues with pimples, I will just apply like a drop of tea tree oil either you know on cleansed hands or with a q-tip on top of the pimple like just to help dry it up um, so that I don't pick with it that's how I got the acne scars from picking with pimples that's why I'm using the serum to lighten the scars up and then if my skin needs a little bit more moisture I will go in with this CBD oil just where I need it usually just rub it in my hands and just rub, um, you know let that sit just to kind of like give my skin a little bit extra moisture if my skin you know if I feel like it needs it and then um, before I go out the door um, this is of course probably like is this after makeup well before makeup um, just to give my skin some extra environmental protection this is the drops of youth bouncy jelly mist um, it of course has the um, Edelweiss stem cells plant stem Edelweiss plant stem cells which is the protective um, stem cell which is gonna give my face protection from environmental aggressors, you know, like from smoke, sun, um, you know, I guess you could say the exhaust from cars. This gives me um, that protection. And you know, of course, if I'm putting on makeup um, during the day, you know, this is before the daytime. But at night, I don't apply this at night because obviously I'm not going back outside. So I would use a different face mist. So right now I'm using the calming, cocoa calming one because of aloe vera, you know, after I take off everything. This is just to further soothe my face. <laughs> and yeah. And then um, occasionally to wash my face, I use this brush by Vanity Planet. Um, I didn't realize that my um, camera had stopped recording. So I have to watch back and see how much um, I missed. I think it just did that, but um, it's, this is a brush from Vanity Plant. I just keep the batteries in because I don't want to have to keep getting them in. I don't keep them in because something that uses batteries, if you keep the batteries in it, um, the electronic kind of sucks the juice out of them. But I typically use this brush head, which is like the little silicone one. It's soft. Um, if I do use this face brush, I don't use this all the time. I usually just go in with my hands. But um, I use this to kind of like get a deep cleanse. So maybe like every other night I would use this just to, you know, give my cleanser more bang for its buck. And it has two speeds. Um, I usually use the gentle speed. And you know, just kind of focus it. I really kind of focus it on like the areas where I have problem areas to kind of, you know, even the skin out. But that is it. Um, like I said, I'm sorry about not filming. Um, I just hadn't been up to it and it's more important to get your mental together than just you know posting for the sake of posting so I didn't do that I'm glad to be back I'm glad that you guys stuck it stuck it out um, harm us uh, well I hope to not keep you guys waiting um, very long I'm gonna try to get in the process of you know pre-filming and everything so that I can get ahead of the curve but yeah I'm open to ideas about videos just uh, let me know. Maybe I do another hair video, like how I do my bantu knots or whatever. But uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Hopefully, it won't be another long wait for a video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, leave a like and probably a comment down below. Be nice. And um, remember to share and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Um, if you are already subscribed, thank you for coming back and I will see you guys in the next video. This is oh, you know what you want for you in love with me.